T.J. Leaf, second-year man from UCLA, getting the start tonight. T.J. Leaf on the distro. T.J. Leaf. T.J. Leaf. Pass inside. And a jam by T.J. Leaf. Leaf showing some strong pop. This kid can shoot the ball. Big guy who can uh, shoot it and stretch the floor. You're going right. to find a home in the end. Leaf, I think, is going to get some opportunities in the rotation. I think a lot of people um, have really seen it, but um, I'm really excited to go out there and really show people what I can do. This is a uh, big offseason for him, just given that I think an opportunity is, is going to present itself, whether that be, you know, early in the year, late in the year, whatever. I think that there is going to be an opportunity that presents itself. <laughs> His, his game is huge on, you know, his combination of size and skill I think is a little bit unique and something that uh, he hasn't really had a full chance to showcase yet. Trying to improve in a lot of areas, consistency on my jump shots one, and then definitely in the post as well. Um, getting bigger and stronger is going to help with that, but just improving my footwork, touch, a lot of things like that because I feel like that's an area where I can really take advantage of mismatches and things like that. Most specifically are continuing to just work on his footwork in the post, work on being able to, when you get a switch, score a basket at the rim. Um, when you have a big on you, be able to, you know, extend about and make rip through moves to the rim or, or knock down the jump shot a little bit more consistently. So all things that we're continuing to work on, you know, throughout the summer. We've always, you know, worked out together back when I was playing, and it's kind of morphed into me working with him a little bit. And now with, uh, with his skills, I think he gives me the framework, the stuff that he wants to get better on, and I try to be the best that I can to help him improve in those areas and um, hope that he sees the improvement that he wants to see in those areas, and I think that that's happening. I'm really trying to prove my die a lot this year. It's something that I've been able to feel a lot recently. Um, Jazz has been doing a great job of just putting in things in my body that are going to help me succeed and keep me more energized during my workouts. You know, last year and the year before, I couldn't be able to do all this work and still be energized and still have my body feeling the way it is. So, you know, with her, it's just been really great. You know, just me and her talking and making sure we're putting the right stuff in my body and making sure I can really uh, work out in my peak. Strength Camp Gym. It's gonna be a hot one. Get ready for it. Taken for granted. Get ready to sweat. The minute he got in here was he just wanted to work. I could tell from the first session that we actually did, there was no cutting corners. Um, you know, everything he did, he did great. I'm really excited just to show off, you know, what I've been working on this summer and trying to, you know, really improve my body and a lot of things. He has a huge upside of potential. And with that, for me as a strength coach, it's like I'm salivating to be able to work with him because I know how much he still has in his tank. I think you'll see a brand new TJ by the end of the draft season. I'm excited for it. That's some good work right there. Third outfit today.
Just burn through another one. I know, but there's another compartment. Like, oh. Let's get it. TJ's nutritional therapist and I cook for him full time. I get to control what's going in his body, what type of nourishment he needs for the day, basically exactly what he's doing in the day I know so that I can customize his meals to go around that. This off season we're working on trying to get as clean as possible. Basically down to the roots of eating real food. Trying not to eat pre-processed foods um, and just seeing if we can incorporate more fruits, vegetables, healthy carbs, loads of protein. Tonight we're making roasted carrots, roasted asparagus, pesto crusted salmon, which is one of our favorite dishes. A year ago he would have never ever eaten quinoa. But now we eat it every day, he loves it. Lacey says he loves it. He's the rocks right here. That's what, that's what it's all about. It's all about the kids. Love it. Bobby, it's Leo. That's who I do it for right here. <laughs> Bobby, he's afraid now. They're nervous, they're in the spotlight. Give Leo space, give Leo space. Yeah. <laughs> Go for a little boat ride. Unfortunately, we're not going fishing. Maybe later. Can we get footage too? Dang, it's like dang. Like you're about to go like mess them up. <laughs> oh, that's a good to go out there and get a little um, more of an opportunity and really show a lot of people you know what I can do. I tell you what, TJ Leap is, is continues to kind of